Hi, this is Tim Boudreau, and I'm going to demo how you can combine the Young Graph Library with the NetBeans Visual Library to make cooler, better user interfaces for graphs in Java. I've created a library that integrates these two things, which is open sourced on GitHub and easily added to your projects if you use Maven. Young is good at drawing fancy graphs. If you have big data, data connected to other data, and want to create a user interface to explore it, Jung is a wonderful thing. There's a whole discipline called graph theory, and Jung was created by people who studied that. This sort of data is very common. It could be entities in a database, or a graph of your Facebook friends and who knows who, or a graph of dependencies between Maven projects or Java classes. Without a way to visualize it, it can be difficult to reason about. Graphs help do that. If you've ever tried to write code to optimally lay out a bunch of connected data, you know it's a hard problem. It's much harder than it looks at first. And there is no universally good layout. What works best for humans to look at depends on what the data is like. Jung contains a lot of layouts to choose from, which represent quite a bit of research and hard work. NetBeans Visual Library is good at drawing widgets with connections between them, doing dynamic layout and animation. And since it's an actual component library, graph nodes can be interactive visual library widgets or even swing components. So what if we put these two things together? That's what I did. The VL Jung project on GitHub lets you use them both together. This is the demo app. It's showing a directed graph of strings and numbers. This could be any data with objects and connections between them, including objects you already have. Each node is sized based on the number of outgoing connections it has. But since I'm using a real component library, the nodes could be drawn as any visual library component. To demo a little of what that can do, I've included in-place editing support. Visual library also makes it easy to include components other than basic graph components, and to animate them, like this pop-up that fades in whenever I hover the mouse over an edge for more than three quarters of a second. One of the first things you'll notice is, if you're a visual library user, the connections aren't straight lines, they're curves. Visual Library has basic support for graphs, but the best it can do is an array of points that draw straight lines. It can't do curves unless you throw away all of its built-in support for graphs and write your own from scratch, which isn't much fun. But here, we're using Jung Connection Widget, part of my library, which uses Jung's painting logic for curved connections, which already exists and is more advanced. I can even change the edge shape on the fly, and we have a variety to choose from. The code that does this is very simple. You can see that here. I'm really just adding a bunch of Jung classes to a combo box. Down here, when the user changes the value of the combo box, I just call a setter on the scene with the selected one. That's it. Now, if you're a Jung user, you'll notice some features you get for free with Visual Library, which would be a lot of work to implement if you were using Jung. For example, when I hover on a widget, it changes color, and so do the lines coming from it. Not only that, but the color change is animated using Visual Library's Scene Animator. We also have some other features you couldn't do easily with just Jung. Visual Library has a concept of selecting objects by drawing a box around them like this. Notice how the selected objects are highlighted and the others have faded out. Just click in the white space to remove the selection. We can select by clicking to, and even add to the selection by shift clicking. If you want all of this functionality in your application, all you have to do is subclass base Jung scene, or you can use its parent class Jung scene, which makes fewer assumptions about what the graph should do. We can also do some analysis when the node is selected. If I click one node, it gets highlighted. The nodes connected to it are highlighted in a less saturated version of that color, and the nodes connected to those nodes are highlighted in an even paler version of that color. Selection behavior can be whatever you want but it's handy to let a user focus on one set of relationships this way. For the demo, I've also set it up so that clicking on an edge between nodes selects both of its endpoints. Zooming in and out in the demo is done using the scroll wheel. Thanks to Visual Library, we also have the satellite view at the top of the screen, which lets us scroll around our graph. But the big feature of Jung is the layouts it offers. So let's take a look at a few of those. So far, we've been looking at a tree layout. I'm going to switch it now to be a balloon layout. Both of these are useful ways to visualize the data, and very different from each other. There are many other layouts to choose from.
Once again, in the code, I'm simply adding a bunch of layout objects to a combo box. In fact, since these layouts persist, I can drag a widget to a new location, then change layouts, and when I switch back, it remembers the location I dragged it to. The project on GitHub consists of three Maven projects. The Visual Library plus Jung project provides a base class called JungScene, which wrappers a Jung layout in a Visual Library layout and implements the connection widget that uses Jung's painting logic. It also provides the widget you saw drawing rings around groups of nodes when we were using balloon layout. Visual Library Jung base classes provides an extension to Jung Scene, which does most of the things you see in this demo. It takes care of installing widgets in different layers and most of the interactions you saw. You can plug in the code that creates widgets for nodes and edges and provides the actions and selection behavior you see here. So if you want to simply create a graph that behaves like the one you saw here, it's very easy. And the last project is the demo application I'm running here. So if you want to use this powerful combination of component and graphing libraries, head over to the VL Young project on GitHub. If you're using Maven, you can add my Maven repositories to your build. Go to timboudreau.com and click on the builds link and follow the instructions. Thanks, and happy graphing.